was what was the question? Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to Gabin with Gab. Today I have a very special guest here. Hi, what's up everyone? I'm James. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're gonna be doing a very special episode. Happy Pride Month! Happy Pride Month! Like. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna talk about how we met. Okay, um, Gabby and I go to college together. We had a class last semester with a pretty goofy <laughs> ass <man>. teacher <laughs> oh wait can we curse on this yeah, <laughs> yeah. um but yeah right. he was very silly and like we just couldn't even pay attention at that class no that class i i didn't even go to most no of yeah it. i stopped going after I, you stopped I going i really stopped going but I like did. i still got an a I was like, how the she fuck? He gave me an A too, yeah, actually. I was like, how the fuck did I, I get was, an A? I didn't even know that he gave me an a. a. It was from two semesters ago now, and I don't even know he gave me an A until literally last <laughs> week. Oh my god, no, because like, I was like, I did that like research paper that we had the whole semester to do the <laughs> night before we turned it in. Yo, and you our whole entire, <laughs> our whole entire class did it this paper the <laughs> night before it was due oh my it god was that was so bad no one was paying attention to this man and like i felt bad because he said he seems really interested and passionate about history and we would literally finish the class like we decided whenever class was over yo like we would all just yo. start packing up <laughs> at four o'clock in the class and until 4 20 he's like oh yeah have a nice day <laughs> i felt so bad for him he was like he was like Go to the, um... Go get pizza. Go get pizza. <laughs> okay. So. This is a very interesting topic for me today. I'm very excited about this. Because actually, in four days, it will be a full year since I came out to my dad. Yeah. And it was, oh my god, that, such a great story. So I was like, I don't know why, but I was like, I need to come out to him dead center, middle of fucking Pride Month. And it was like right after, so my senior quote in my yearbook, so background knowledge. I Actually, was, my my school, we didn't do senior quotes. We This was the first year we did it. We like fought so hard to do okay. it. Okay. So like background, I have scoliosis too, and I got surgery for that. But it's still not like 100% straight. So my senior quote, which this was low-key like problematic, and I had to literally get approval from my AP to put it in the yearbook. Um, and I was about to start a riot if he didn't approve of it, <laughs> but he did. But it was, my spine is the straightest thing about me, and that's not even 100%. So, oh, that's funny. <laughs> so then I, like, took, we had our yearbooks, so then I made a whole ass cake, too. It was, like, I think it was, like, I did vanilla cake, and I dyed half of it blue and half of it pink, and I, like, made it, like, a marble. Okay. So it was, like, a low-key, low like, bi-flag, bi like, thing. <laughs> And then I filled it with, like, all blue, purple, and pink sprinkles. And then, I forget what I wrote on the cake. But then, in my yearbook, there was a sticky note that, like, said, like, one, in t like, in every family out of two kids, like, at least one of them is gay. Well, I'm, like, technically half. So, here you go. Surprise. I'm bi. <laughs> so, so, I have a picture somewhere in my camera roll of my dad giving me a hug. He was like, Literally, he was like, okay. Like, he really didn't give a fuck. <laughs> he was like, this really doesn't change anything, but okay. And he gave me, like, a hug. And I was like, okay. Yeah, so that was my coming out story. I'm also bisexual, everyone. <laughs> whoop de doo There we go. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I feel like I always knew I was bisexual because I just had that feeling of like lust and wanting someone and like whatever the fuck that even means mm -hmm. as like a kid and like a teenager and like whatever um for both like men and women so um you know i i guess like growing up like i knew that when i was really young but i didn't necessarily know what that meant mm -hmm. but i also with that being said was not raised in like a household where like if that was the case it would be a problem Happy Pride, everyone. Um, I'm bi. It's funny because we we both talked about the fact that we're both bi and doing this podcast. Um, I think I made that joke. I don't fucking know. Um, 
<laughs> I don't fucking know anymore. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, but I mean, I'm really like confident, like in myself and like my sexuality. So I am proud of myself for that. I guess, yeah. Period. Yeah. I remember the first time I realized like I was bisexual. I literally remember the exact day because I there was this one kid. He was so hot in my school and like. We were look, we didn't know what his name was, and we all thought he was a senior. I was a junior, and then so after like a week of digging, I had nothing on this kid. I found everything about him. Turns oh, out my therapist God. knew him too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> my therapist knew like his friend because that's her neighbor, and I was like, get the fuck out. And like she told me all this tea about him, but like so I found his Instagram and then I showed my friend, and then she was like, oh, he looks a little fruity, and I was like girl like I, and then in my head like i thought like aren't we all a little fruity like yeah. i literally thought that's what straight was like i literally well, thought that's like, why like i feel like as a bi person when yeah. like when people are like oh he looks a little fruity i'm like like yeah. like what's your point like exactly. no one's like there's no like definition like we made up these labels so then um so we found all his information it turns out that he was a sophomore and i feel like i was the most pissed about that that Ooh, he looks so nice weird. he looks so hot like he looked like a senior like he didn't just look like a junior he looked like a fucking senior two years older as a fucking sophomore dude as a sophomore i looked like an eighth grader that is fucking annoying like i was like how do you look so hot but then he had a giant glow down in like the fall of his junior year but then he got hot again and i was like oh this is so annoying but pretty much yeah so originally like like i always had like feelings towards like both genders right but like i just didn't realize i was like bisexual like i literally just thought that was straight and then, <laughs> yeah. I, like, all, <laughs> then it all came together and i was like oh gabby you goofy little girl <laughs> like i was like oh that's so silly so that's how i realized i was bisexual i want to talk about is the fact that while well, I look I love being bi it is the greatest but also it does have its downsides um attraction is great but sometimes it's hard when you find everyone in the room attractive mm -hmm. like um, and also especially when you don't know like other people's sexuality like yeah, you don't want to yeah. like read the wrong um, signals and like there's anything. like the, also like going along with that there's been so many times where on the flip side like I know girls and guys have hit on me, but I'm like, like I'm just like, oh, uh, like yeah. I don't, like I'm not processing it. But <laughs> no, I've got, literally, I've gotten better at that. Like, there, funny enough, there was one time that I went to Starbucks for the first time, like in person after months of COVID, mm -hmm. and the barista asked me for my name, and I was like, James, like wow, like I'm really special, like. Like, he, like, I guess he thinks, like, I'm hot or something. And I, then I put together and I'm like, you're a fucking you're idiot. You're a fucking Starbucks. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> um, I guess, like, yeah, so whatever. Like, it's good, but it's also hard when you find everyone attractive. Um, so a problem that I feel like a lot of bisexual people often run into is the fact that um, people who are both fully straight and also fully gay are both both biphobic mm -hmm. um and at the end of the day like it can be really hard like i've had girls i've had guys tell me you know well i just don't think you know what you want but no you're telling me that because i like both genders and you think that because of that i'm like getting around mm -hmm. like and also people don't seem to realize too is just because you're bi doesn't mean you like every single person like people that are straight don't like every single person yeah like, right, right don't right, think every single person's hot like yeah it's just and then also i had one time the guy that i was hooking up with i think i told you this but he literally said to me once gabby you realize you're straight with me right and i was like like yeah, i literally had like, no words i was like you don't like, get this but, but like also that's such a funny thing for him to say because like no shit because also like as someone who like when you are bi you also do have to acknowledge that like obviously it would be vice versa for you but when i'm with a girl i'm in a straight relationship mm -hmm. and i'm with a, when i'm with a, a guy i'm in a gay relationship but at the end of the day i'm bisexual yeah. so but for him to like say that it's just like yeah no fucking shit but like he tried to say it in a way that was like 
Like you're not actually bi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like... yeah. Um, another thing is that some okay, some bi people do have a preference of what gender they like more. I personally do not. If I if you were a woman or a man and I find you attractive, I find you attractive mm -hmm. and that's just how it goes for me. Yeah. And like I've had people ask me like well like at first I kind of thought this question was like invasive but I don't really think the people meant it that way. They mm -hmm. were like like do you can you see like which gender you would want to like maybe like marry in the future? And I was like honestly like I I don't know. Like mm -hmm. I can't like I can't tell you that and that just comes along with being bisexual mm -hmm. like I, I don't know which gender I'm gonna marry and I mean I don't know if I'm gonna get married at all but that's, that, that, that's, that's, another, that's another story but um yeah yeah no I get that because it's like you don't have like a set like thing like I just say like I'm more attracted just like if you're pretty to me like that's it like oh I love women I love women <laughs> like women are like oh my god like I'm like, as long as you're pretty, like, I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, if I think you're pretty, like, we roll in. Another thing. PSA. If you were in a relationship, no matter if you were a girl dating a guy or a guy dating a girl, I guess this is my thing for fully straight people. Either or. <laughs> um, <laughs> the last. <laughs> like, if you are in a relationship, stop coming to me to be the person that you cheat on with because i've had a couple hookups recently where they lie to me and then after we fuck they're like i have a girlfriend i have a boyfriend and i'm like like oh stop God. this sounds really goofy like if i was cheated on but like my partner cheated on me with a dude i wouldn't be as like upset if they cheated on me with a dude than with another girl because it's like I can't give that to them. Like, whether they, my partner's like a girl were, or a guy. Like, if you, but what did you mean that specifically? I was like, if you were a, if you were with a girl and she got with a guy. Yeah. A guy. Or, like, even if I was with a guy and he got yeah. with another guy. Like, I wouldn't be as offended because I'm like, okay, well, I can't give you that. If you could have coffee with one, it could be historical. It could be a famous person. Who would it be and why? Lana Del Rey. Um, I would love to have coffee with her. Uh, I've seen her live twice, and her music just says, Ooh, oh, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck. Her music has just really impacted my life, and I just, you know, I can only hope that one day I meet her. Mm -hmm. Maybe I never will, which is sad to think about, but I just would want to tell her how much her music has had an impact, like, on not only me, but our generation. I think maybe... I don't want to, I know you don't really, like, know your artist personally, but, like, I do know a lot about her, and mm -hmm. so do her fans, and I think that maybe sometimes she doesn't really understand the impact that she's had. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I feel like before her, t like, when she really came out, like, in 2012, she was the first, you know, female to get up here and be like, you know, I want to be dead, like, drugs, cocaine, mm -hmm. because, you know... All the fucking other songs at that time were like, yeah, let me throw my hands up in the air and take tequila shots <laughs> and it's going to be a good night and a good weekend because we're young and like, <laughs> like some shit like that. And like, I don't know. I just, I really fuck with her. If you won $10 million tomorrow, what would you spend it on? If you answer correctly, maybe I have $10 million cash to give you. <laughs> Two words. Fleeing America. Real. I really wish I had that time. <laughs> actually, to give actually, I can't because I don't even. I don't have my passport updated, so fuck me. Oh, oh my god, my passport picture is terrible because I went when I went to retake it. I was like, oh, it has to be good, and then so I did my hair with like fucking curtain bangs, and they're like, you have to move your hair out of the picture, and I was like, okay, and then she took <laughs> yeah. the picture right after that, and I was like, the fuck, you didn't even let me get a chance to like properly like readjust or anything. I was like. What the fuck, bitch? Like, you should you should give me a minute. Trash or gas is way better. Chick-fil-A. Gas. Unpopular opinion. Yo. This might just be because I don't fuck with, like, like I don't eat meat anymore. Okay. But, like... That's fair. Chick-fil-A isn't as good as I used to think it was. Like, I think it's, like, a mob mentality, low-key. Because then I had, like, Chick-fil-A, like, 
recently. Like, I had their fries. They weren't as good as remember them. Today. I had it the other day, and it was so good. Like, I, I just don't fuck with it like that. And, like... It's expensive, It's though. so expensive. Like, I feel like compared to all other fast food places, yeah, it's good, but that's only because they are one of the only fast food places that use actual meat. Yeah. Like, every other place, it's, like, you could taste the fakeness. Like, McDonald's, good if, like, you're hungry, but, like, yeah. you could taste, like, the fake. But it's so expensive, too. I feel like at this point, McDonald's just doesn't even taste like anything. Mm-mm. Like, when you eat it. Like, I had fries, and they were, like... Mm-hmm. I had McDonald's fries, like, a month or two ago, and they... Like, I know this... Like, I don't think the potatoes were bad, but they were just so bland that they mm-hmm. almost tasted, like, sour. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that... Maybe not sour, but... Mm-hmm. Like, me and my best friend were both vegetarians, and, like... You can't really eat McDonald's, like, fries if you're yeah, vegetarian. Yeah, because they fry them in beef Yeah, fat. so then we're, like, so hungry. We're, like, you know what? Fuck it. And, like, we had them. And she liked them, and I was, like, very upset with them. I was, yeah. like, I haven't eaten these for years. And now I'm eating this, and it's not even that good. Manhattan. Guess. Guess. Yeah. Like, there's just literally no place like it. Like, everyone, like, complains about, like... Oh, the prices. Oh, this. Oh, that. But, like, low-key, it's the same price as living on Long Island. I agree with that because yeah. I had a... F- um, I'm not really friends with this person anymore, uh-huh. but... Um, them and I went to the city uh-huh. last summer, and we went two days in a row, and I'm not gonna lie, we definitely did probably spend a decent amount of money, but, like, we, like, we picked the right places, like... Uh-huh. It was expensive, but if you have, like, the money to go in there, into the city, and, like, you don't even have to, like, I didn't really shop for clothes, Mm -hmm. like, I did, like, I bought, like, a wallet. And there also are so many free things to do. Yeah, yeah, Like, you could literally do anything at any time. That's also, that's also another thing, like, if you show your New York State license, you get into any museum for free, Mm -hmm. so that takes up so much time Mm -hmm. in the fucking city. Sports cars. Yes. I just want to go vroom vroom in one so badly. <laughs> I wish I had a convertible. <laughs> Me too. I want a convertible Corvette My car so is fucking a sports bad. edition, but it doesn't Me have too. a sunroof. Me either. This is a sport, but it doesn't have a sunroof. That's so fucked. How do you oh, make a sport yeah. edition and not give it a sunroof? Exactly. Like, I'm like... Like, that could only make it go faster. Exactly. That's such bullshit. Taco Bell. I had it the other day. It was pretty good. I love fucking Taco Bell. Yeah. It's one of my favorite fast food places. Hands down. It's so good. Are you still vegetarian? Yeah. Ew, fuck you. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'll ever not be vegetarian now. That's um, that's understandable. Yeah. Because, like, one time I had Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle. Trash gas. Okay. Um... I've had it, and it's been really good, but I've also had Chipotle on bad days, and it's really yeah. bad. Yeah, it's, like, you have to pick the right day, because one time, I, like, ha- I got, I ordered, like, the tofu tacos, the sofritas. Yeah, I've had the sofritas uh-huh. in a bowl before, it was okay. Yeah, it's, like, pretty good, but, like, then I was, like, chewing on it, like, my third taco, or, like, no, it was my second taco, and I was, like something's chewy in here yeah and i pull out a fucking piece of steak it was like a singular piece of steak in my sofritas and i literally was like panicking yeah and it wasn't even like i was at the like at chipotle like i wasn't gonna like and i didn't even have a license at the time so like i wasn't gonna have my dad like go yeah. and complain like but and then that happened to me at panera once too they gave me like like i ordered like a veggie sandwich like it's hummus and vegetables and cheese and they gave me like bacon turkey and something else some other kind of cheese and i literally cried because i accidentally touched the bacon like i was like <gasps> yeah my uh, my sibling is vegetarian and it's very like it's very um, it's hard yeah because like especially when you go places like i was at like a birthday party for my aunt last weekend and like it's all hamburgers and hot dogs yeah we had like there was like a few sandwiches that were like yeah. vegetarian but it's like hard because you have to like especially when you go out places like there's not really many fast food places that like 
you can easily get something that's good and well, vegetarian. Well, that's another thing. Like, the the American fast food has, like, it's no plas- no. plant-based options. Like, and then in Europe, Besides, they have like, it. Besides, the, like, the... Impossible Whopper, Impossible which is Whopper. terrible. It's so bad. Yeah, no. Like, it's, like, so soggy. It's, like, ugh. Like, but I'll eat it if I'm starving. Like, because when I go to Florida, we go to Palm Beach. So, like, that airport's so small. So, like, yeah. there's, like three food places it's like a sit-down restaurant starbucks and then burger king so if i'm really fucking hungry i'm going to burger king and an impossible whopper because i'm like there's literally nothing else for me to eat at this airport airports wait what was the terms to you gas or trash <laughs> i'm sorry unpopular opinion gas I love the airport. I love the I airport. Love, I like, love JFK. I yeah, love the big JF- ones. I hate, like, the small airports. Like, it's easy for security, but it's so boring. It's the most boring thing. I love big airports. You can just wander around. Like, I went to JFK before I went to Greece. It was so fucking nice. When did you go to Greece? Over the summer. Last summer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so fucking nice. Like, we had a sit-down dinner, and then we, like, went to the, like, that's why, gate. like, okay, that's why um, I'm really excited to go to Ireland, because obviously Ireland and Greece are not the same thing, but mm-hmm. I guess it's in terms of, like, being somewhere that isn't here. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just, like, being, like, in Europe, I, I guess. I love Europe. Europe food. When you come back to the U.S., you're literally heartbroken. Like, no, I, I, know. I am, like, so lactose intolerant, it's not even funny. And every day I was in Greece, I had ice cream, and I swear my waist got smaller. I never had stomach problems. The minute I smelt the American air, my stomach started hurting. Like, I had Taco Bell that night. I was in agony. Oh, sure. <laughs> I was like, oh. I'm sure. I was like, I can't even fucking um, move. Because, like, my lactose intolerance is weird, too. It's not, like, just that I have to shit. It's, like, it's just a buildup of gas, so I'm in so much yeah. pain that I just have to literally lay down. Oh, my God. That's something we should talk about, being lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. It is so bad. And it. I I feel like I was always lactose intolerant as a kid. Mm -hmm. But, like, I just perceived it to be normal. Yeah. But it's like... But it's like, you know, it it's not normal to be on and off the toilet eight times Mm -hmm. after a single singular slice of pizza. No, literally. But also, like... Being lactose intolerant is really normal. Yeah. Like, humans aren't supposed to be able to tolerate milk. Like, that's yeah, from no, other animals. No. And then, like, the people that can handle milk are actually mutated. Like, it's, like, a whole thing. But, like, one- I'll fuck up a good milkshake. <laughs> I'm not going to out one of my friends, but one of, one of my guy friends, like, loves milk. Like, he still, to this day, like, will eat milk with meals. My, Grow my- the fuck up. Oh, if you're taking a my giant cousin, glass of milk my to drink cousin, with. who I'm going to see get married. You're getting married now, so, uh, <laughs> it's all good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good and funny to bring up now, but I'd be, like, nine. Uh-huh. And he'd be, like, I don't fucking know, like, 23 or some shit. Uh-huh. And, like, it would be Thanksgiving dinner, and he'd be, like, I'll, I'll take a glass of milk. Stop! Like, no, if like, that's your go-to drink of choice and you're over the age of five, grow the fuck up. I I didn't even like uh, dairy milk as a baby. Really? Like, I was given it, like, as, like, an extremely small infant. Like, I guess mm-hmm. when, like, I don't want to say my body needed it, but, mm-hmm. like, you, yeah. you know what I, Yeah. But but from when I was a baby, I only drank fucking water. I, milk is so fucking disgusting. So and why would you drink milk from a cow udder when yeah. there are so many other kinds of milk? And, like, unpasteurized milk is so disgusting. Like, there's literally, like piss in it like there's blood in yeah. it because like the like co- commercial agriculture industry is also just so fucked that like they're so mean to the cows and like yeah. so then it's all fucked up like you're not like going out there and taking care of like your pet cow and getting some fresh yeah. milk like it's like you don't fucking know what this cow yeah. has like the fuck um i want a pet cow so badly like the fluffy ones they're so fucking cute like they're just adorable i actually tried i actually was vegetarian two and a half years ago for like four or five months Mm -hmm. um not unpopular opinion but sometimes this can happen i didn't really go into vegetarianism with the right reasons i thought i did but in the end it kind of just 
I my restrictive eating disorder mm-hmm. kind of just used it as a way to yeah. like be like, oh, I'm vegetarian, but like you really just trying. I was to just eat. cutting out yeah. food groups, mm-hmm. so um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like also like being a vegetarian, it's so hard. You have to make sure you like eat what you have to. Like, yeah, to like survive. do you drink protein smoothies? No, I have like the Beyond meats and stuff instead, because like sometimes I drink protein drinks, but I'm like. Ugh. They're so chalky half the time. Like, the especially because I have to get the dairy-free ones, like, a lot of them. Oh, yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Like, the good ones are all, like, fucking dairy. Um, I, like, I you had a plant-based protein powder two years ago. That shit was... I made, like, protein pancakes and smoothies out of it and stuff. Uh-huh. But, like, it wasn't horrible, but, like, it does have that, like, chalky... Yeah. I love the Kodiak protein pancakes, though. Oh, I've, I've really tried the protein, so the mini protein Kodiak waffles. So Those were good. pretty good. I use that mix, and then I make waffles with, like, my little DoorDash waffle maker. Oh, so cute. fucking good. I'm obsessed with those. Like, I need, I have, like, four of them. I have a regular one, I have a Christmas tree one, I have a spider web one, and I have a pumpkin one. I need something that's spring-related, and I need something that's summer-related for the transition seasons. And an Easter bunny. Like, I need those so badly, and then my life will be complete. So, we are now, like, six months done with 2023, and Halloween is in four months. Bruh, I can't even. Halloween just happened. I swear to God, Halloween just happened. I know. Isn't that crazy? That's mind-boggling. I don't even know what I'm going to be. Like, I don't even know what ha- color my hair is going to be either, so... I haven't dyed my hair black since last August. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should dye it black again. Like, Mm -hmm. it's, like, fully brown again, Mm -hmm. but I don't know. I don't know. It's still dark. Yeah. So then I I vibe with it. Yeah, I vibe with it, too. When did you, like, first get social media? So I secretly got... The first social media that I ever had was Twitter. That's funny. And the username wasn't even my name. It was... Bobby, spelled B-O-B-I, and then Mall. I don't know how I fucking came up with this name, but that was my Twitter username. And then I got Instagram, like, in, like, fourth grade, like, as a secret thing, and I was, like, private, and I was, like, always terrified my dad was gonna find out. And then I got Snapchat, like, fifth grade when everyone got it. And then Musical.ly, like, same time it came out. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Um, of course. <laughs> I'll see you guys next Thursday, 6 o'clock. Um, you know the deal. Okay. I love you. Kisses. Mwah. Say goodbye, James. Bye, motherfuckers. <laughs>